Hey YouTubers, um, I saw something yesterday and I put it on my Facebook and man, people ran away with it. So obviously this is something that wasn't known to the masses, so I'm going to share it with you here. Uh, the false prophet, who I believe is the Pope of the Vatican, um, I believe that he's going to lead the one world religion, you know, when the time comes. I don't believe that he's, you know, fully come into his power or position. But I believe that he's starting to make his um, his role known, just like I believe Obama is starting to make his role as the Antichrist known. Uh, I know people have different opinions on this stuff, but this is just the way that I understand it, and you know these are the people that I believe to fulfill these things. Now, in Revelation thirteen eleven, it says, "Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and spoke like a dragon." So who is a lamb? Jesus is obviously the lamb speaking of, spoken of in Scripture. Um, now, the lamb is, you know, meek and serves. And, uh, you know, when this guy first came into power, when he first came into his position as Pope, he was doing a lot of things that looked like... Uh, like he was trying to be like a legitimate Christian, like trying to serve people and stuff. Um, I saw him pray for people. He talks about serving the poor and doing all this stuff. You know, looking, looking like a lamb. Looking like, attempting to look like how Jesus Christ walked on the earth. But you got to be careful because just because a man does that doesn't mean that... Uh, you know, all his fruit is good. You got to look at all his fruit. So, if he comes looking like a lamb, but he speaks like a dragon, what does the dragon do? The dragon is a liar. So, all right, so you might say, well, how can you condemn the guy if he's doing good works and he's praying for people and he's feeding the poor and, you know, uh, praying for the sick and, and doing all that stuff? Well, again, you got to judge all the fruit. Um, Pope Francis says atheists who do good are redeemed. No, uh, sorry, not just Catholics. Here is a quote from his sermon. The Lord created us in his image and likeness, and we are the image of the Lord, and he does good, and all of us have this commandment at heart. Do good and do not do evil. All of us, but uh, all of us, sorry. And then he's quoting people. But Father, this is not Catholic. He cannot do good. Yes, he can. The Lord has redeemed all of us, all of us with the blood of Christ, all of us, not just Catholics, everyone. Then they reply, Father, the atheists, even the atheists, everyone. We must meet one another doing good. But I don't believe, Father, I am an atheist. But do good. We will meet one another there. Where's there? Heaven. Okay. Now, speaks like a dragon. How does the devil speak? You know, he corrupts the Word of God. He compromises the Word of God. What does the Word of God say about salvation? Romans 10, 9 and 10. If you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So that directly contradicts what um, this so-called father of the Catholic Church is saying. The um, you know scripture also says, "Don't call any man father." Let me uh, let me see if I can find that for you. Uh, here's, the, here's the verse, Matthew 23, 9. Um, in this chapter, Jesus is talking about the hypocrisy of the Pharisees and the scribes and all those people. He says, Do not call anyone on earth your father, for one is your father who is in heaven. Okay? Um, now, I'll, uh, I'll just point out one thing in this other article. In this other sermon... This is uh, from Vatican Radio, something, the voice of the Pope and the Church, blah, blah, blah. Pope Francis meets Muslims and urges both Christians and Muslims to promote mutual respect. Here's something that he says in this article. He then said he wished to send greetings to Muslims, our brothers. 
throughout the world who have just finished celebrating the end of the unholy month of Ramadan. Now, if the Catholic Pope, who's speaking like a dragon, is calling Muslims our brothers, now I just uh, brought up the thing of, you know, don't call anybody father. If you are brothers with someone, you share a father. Correct? So, if Allah is the father of the Muslims, or, you know, anyway, what I'm saying is that we have one father, like that verse says. Do not call anyone on earth your father, for one is your father who is in heaven. One is my father who is in heaven. If you're born again, one is your father who is in heaven. But this Catholic joker is saying that Muslims are his brothers, therefore they share the same father, the devil, because Allah is the devil. Allah is a moon devil. Allah is a violent, evil, um, murdering, pedophiliac, uh, baby killing, you know, dirt bag. You know, the, the Quran preaches violence. It preaches hate. It says, you know, if somebody leaves the Muslim faith, kill them. You know, where's the love in that? My father, the Bible says God is love. So, I'm not brothers with a Muslim, violent, uh, you know, murdering God, right? That preaches hate, that says, you know, hate the people that don't come into your religion. Both of these religions are, um, you know, believed to be justified by works. You know, the, the Pope says in this other thing, if you do good, you will be saved. But that's contrary to Scripture. You know, what did, uh, what did Jesus say about this stuff? Uh, Mark 16, 16 says, He who believes and is baptized will be saved. He who does not believe will be condemned. Atheists. Uh, what other one can I read to you here? Uh, this, I believe, is when Paul was preaching to the guard. Okay, when Paul and Silas were locked up in prison and they chose to uh, praise the Lord. I mean, these guys just got beat. Yeah, uh, the magistrates commanded them to be beaten with rods, and when they had laid many stripes on, the, on them, they threw them into prison, commanding the jailer to keep them securely. So these guys began to sing hymns to God, and then there was a great earthquake. The prison was shaken, and the doors were opened, and everyone's chains were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, the uh, you know the security guy, um, you know, believing that everybody left was going to kill himself. But Paul said, "Do not, you know, do yourself no harm, for we, for we are all here." And uh, this security guard says, "Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved, you and your household." So there's no such thing as atheists doing good works to go to heaven. Um, you know, the Bible says that our works are as filthy rags, that none is righteous, no, not one, that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. The gospel is simple. Jesus paid the price because you can't afford it. You know, God is holy. God is perfect. And he cannot have sin dwelling in his presence. So, you know, we deserve the wrath of God for being sinners. You know, because we chose, you know, Adam rebelled against God. And then there was an inheritance that continued down the line. You know, read the book of Romans. But, you know, God basically said to Jesus, you know, if you love them that much, then, uh, you know, you need to go die for them because... You can live the perfect sinless life. God basically said that the standard would be that he needed a perfect sacrifice to atone for the sins of man 
and to uh, reconcile mankind to God through the blood and sacrifice of Jesus Christ. And when Jesus died on the cross, God raised him from the dead because he was without sin and the grave couldn't hold him. So, obviously, this man who uh, puts on this act like a lamb, you know, acting, um, you know, like a disciple, like Jesus Christ, like a lamb, you know, by looking like he's a humble servant, you know, he puts on this show like he is a humble servant, which is quite deceiving. But he speaks like a dragon, calling Muslims brothers and calling atheists redeemed. Now, salvation is available to all these people, but it is through belief in Jesus Christ, through repentance, turning from the old life of sin. So, that is simple and to the point, and unfortunately, most of the world doesn't get it. Because they listen to a man in a pulpit without checking it against the Word of God. So, uh, you know, if you defend any of these clowns, if you defend the Pope, or you defend, uh, you know, Muslims, or you defend anybody, you know, you really need to check what you believe because you may not be even saved. Uh, now is the time to make sure that you are authentically saved. So, confess the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead and you will be saved. With that, bye-bye.